Welcome back you guys. Today I have a very um, different kind of video. It is a, it's not a Dazzled or Disappointed. It's not even a review. It is a, basically a video on the Marc Jacobs Cat's Meow five piece Petite Le Marc Lip Creme uh, collection. And basically this is the video that is going to help you decide whether this is right for you. I'm not even, I just want to preface by saying I'm not going to swatch these because I already know I'm going to return this one. Um, only because I've been buying the last, well this is the third year that I purchased. Um, but I want to show you swatches of year one and year, or year one and year two. Uh, year one of me purchasing, I guess I should say. So basically, I want to show you swatches of last year's and the year before. So basically 2015, 2016. So any of you who have purchased either of those know whether to purchase 2017 because as we know, a lot of times these companies will end up releasing for the holiday sets and holiday collections, they'll end up releasing very, very similar shades and they get you with the packaging, which, you know, that's me. <laughs> and so they'll get you with the packaging and you're like, oh, the packaging's so pretty and it has one or two different kind of things, so I might as well pick it up. And so um, I keep buying stuff and I'm like, oh, I probably need to be a little bit smarter on, okay, is this something I really already own, at least in some way, shape, or form because of similarity? So I want to go through this with you. I will take this out of its packaging to show you each and every lipstick um, so that you can kind of see if it compares to last year, the year before. Just because I'm re uh, returning mine doesn't mean that it does. It just means that I've already got this. With this being the third one, I'm like, I just don't need any more. <laughs> and I tend to not use them as often because they're small, so I forget about them. And I keep them in their little package, in their little case. And then time goes by and I'm like, oh, I haven't been getting use out of these. So. Let's jump into this so that we can take a look at uh, past releases and see if this year's set is right for you. Okay guys, so I actually had kept the boxes. I am such a sucker for packaging, again, that a lot of times I will keep the box if the box is extra pretty. <laughs> this one was So Sophia and The Sophia, I'm sorry, and it was um, 2015's release. Uh, so that's that one, and then 2016, was a solid pink and it was called Up All Night. And so this is what that one looked like. So those are the two boxes. Let's go into packaging. For 2015, packaging wasn't that great. It was like a little clutch like this and it just kind of opened up and then the um, lipsticks slid out just like this. And they're on the little typical plastic tray with five lippies in there. So that was 2015. 2016 matches the box and it was a solid metallic pink uh, or kind of a chrome pink type um, little holder, little package, little box. Why am I finding it hard to think of the word for this? Anyways, I feel like so many words jump up in my mind that happened on like video before last. So I don't know if I should be embarrassed at this point that I can't even hardly talk. So this is what this uh, looked like for last year. I mentioned and I'll mention again, what is up with the tassels? I mean, maybe maybe a lot of y'all like tassels. I don't care for them. I feel like they're bulky and I just don't know their purpose. But it did come with a tassel and so did this year's, which... Mm. But we'll, we'll get to that one in a minute. This little box or holder or whatever, I really, really liked it because it opens up, it's got the five lipsticks in there, the tray pops out, and then you can use the little box, that's what we're going to call it, for other things. So open it up and you've got, you know, it's kind of shallow, but it's perfect because you can put little things in there. Um, and then again, the little plastic tray, it you can throw that little thing away. I have been keeping mine in there. Um, let's move on to this year's, hold on, it's on the floor. This year's is super, super cute. And what what is hard for me about returning is that the packaging is so cute but this was this year's and it's called cat's meow so obviously kind of with the leopard print you know they've got a a little animal theme going on so that's that let's open this bad boy up and i can show you what this one looks like so this again is it's like they get cuter every year and this is the best one yet so this is what this year's looks like so very similar in style to the last one that I showed, which was last year's, that little kind of box. 
again with the tassel. And I was, anyways, I should probably take mine off of that pink one. I just don't like the tassel. Anyways, <laughs> open it up and it's the same kind of style little box. And it's got the tray of five lipsticks that pops out. The, if you are unfamiliar with the Marc Jacobs La Creme lipstick, it's a really amazing uh, formula. Whoa, that made my skin crawl, that noise, like nails on a chalkboard. It is a really amazing formula. I think I've told y'all, not I think, I know I've told y'all in videos in which I have had Marc Jacobs lipstick reviews of some sort, um, that Marc Jacobs uh, La Creme L liquid lipsticks, no, regular lipsticks, <laughs> are amazing to the point where I wore that for my um, engagement pictures, my bridal pictures, and my wedding. The formula is incredible to where it really has lasting power, but not to where it dries out your lips because the formula is so creamy and emollient that it just kind of saturates your lips, but it doesn't slide around like a lot of them do. One of the reasons I'm not super thrilled about the Bite Beauty and Moose Boosh lipsticks is because on me, I feel like they slide around and then like after a couple hours, they're, it's just gone. So I've got about four of them, but I don't gravitate towards them hardly at all because of that reason. These are a completely different story and they are a luxury product. So of course they are going to have the luxury price tag. The lovely thing about these types of sets is that you get to try out five different shades for a really good price. I wanna say this one was $45 this year. I think it went, um, let me see. Let me check it out real quick because I want to say I paid like 50 last year. Um, but I feel like it did go down in price. Um, let me take a look real quick and I will tell you, okay, yeah, it's $45 this year. I couldn't even remember. Um, which is a really, really great way to try them out and you get the really cute packaging. So again, if you are new to the formula, I highly suggest these types of sets or this set in particular really, really amazing. I think you'll be pretty impressed with the formula. Um, I'm trying to think what shades I wore. So for my wedding, I wore um, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And for my engagement pictures, I wore um, Jolly Molly. Um, so Jolly Molly for engagement pictures and then bridal pictures and wedding, I wore Kiss Kiss Bang Bang and could not have been happier. Loved it. Just best, you know, for me it was the best decision as far as the lipstick goes because that's how amazing they are. And for a special day like that, you want to be able to trust your lipstick. You don't want anything going all over the place. You don't want something fading or sliding off in an hour because, you know, what's the point? Anyways, so that is this year's set. Now, we're going to go ahead and... <clears throat> we're going to um, review, or not review, but we're going to go through the swatches for last year and the year before so that you can see what they look like, and then I'm going to pull out the lipsticks for this year so that you can see if indeed there are similarities. So let's jump right into that. So we're going to go ahead and start with last year. So 2016, this is what it looks like. So you've kind of got a mix of like a nude, kind of a mauve, you've got a red pink more of a wine red and then you have a purple. So you've kind of got all areas, all spectrums of the color scheme covered in that you kind of have something from neutral all the way to vampy. <laughs> so again, you've got the nude, you've got the pinky mauve type thing going on. You've got uh, kind of a, it's a brighter red, but it's actually a pink red, um, a wine red and a purple. So let's just go ahead and throw 2015 into the mix. And so you've got right here, oh, hold on, I have to kind of look. Okay, so here you've got kind of a darker nude. You've got a couple of different tones of red, a wine color, and then up here is a bright, almost coral type shade. And that one is my favorite out of the bunch and is something that I was very pleased was not included in last year's because that kind of helps vary it up. But, um, but you've kind of got along the same lines of like from nude to the vampy shades, but I'm going to side by side. And I did feel that these were different enough to warrant purchasing both of them because this one came with a couple of different types of red. This one came with a nude and a mauve and only one type of red and it was actually a pinky red. And then also that purple was the kicker for me. I thought, okay, you know what? They are different enough to where I do wanna be able to have both. So that is what they look like right there. 
20, let's see, 2016, 2015. For those of you who own either or both, that is what the color scheme is. Now, the hard thing about 2017 is that when you've already released these types of shades and two years in a row, what are you gonna do different for 2017? So let's open this bad boy up and that way we can see if there is enough variance to warrant a, you know, a purchase. And so, because I'm, honestly, I'm all for picking these things up, especially if it's a, a, enough of a variance. So, we're going to start off with the first one, which is Sonic Truth, and that is a nude shade. So, here you go. This is your nude color. Again, I'm not going to swatch them because I hate swatching and then not, you know, just taking it back. If I'm not going to put it to use, I'm just, I'm just going to swatch it. I feel bad because then the store can't resell it and I don't even know if they resell it once you return it even if it's still brand new um, but just for conscience sake um, I would rather they be able to resell this one so I'm not gonna swatch it not gonna touch it anything like that that is the nude shade so that being said we have nude shades from a couple of years really I mean even 20 I'm sorry and I can even say that 20 15, it's more of a mauve shade, not even so much a nude. I would consider it to be a pinky mauve. So we will compare it to 2016. There's a nude right there. So if you have 2016, you're going to have something similar. I'm not saying they're going to be identical. What I would like to point out is what's going to be in the same color family um, because you can have something that, okay, it's a different name, it's a different shade because it's slightly darker or it's slightly lighter. Well, but... Honestly, are you wanting to pay $45 for something that's just slightly different? A lot of us are okay with that. A lot of us are not okay with that. So the next one is J'adore, and this is another nude. It's actually more of a brown. So this is what this one looks like right here. This is a dark, almost like a, I would consider it to be kind of a hot cocoa type shade. So that being said, we don't have any kind of dark brown hot cocoa shades from last year or the year before. So nothing like that, which makes that kind of a new difference, which is nice. So then let's move on to the third one. The third one is called Infamous. Now, I do want to point out, hold on. Okay, so let me grab, okay. If you own the 2015 version, Infamous was in here. So it is a dupe for your 2015 set. Again, if you own the Sophia, you already have one of the shades in the Cat's Meow. But I will show it to you, um, and it's going to be this, by the way, it's going to be this mauve color. And so this is what it looks like in its little tube. That's that one right there. And I'm pretty certain they re-included it because it's probably one of their more popular shades. Mauve shades are always really, really popular, and so, that's, I mean, can you blame a company if they're going to want to include their most popular because it's probably the one most people like to use. The next one you have is Goddess, and this is going to be more of a true red. So let me point this one out to you. This is going to be more of a, like a red red, a Christmas type of red. Now, that being said, you do have different types of reds in last year's and the year before. So last year you got this red right here, which is a pinky red. So it's not a true red. It is a type of red, but it's not a, um, a red, you know, Christmas red. Um, and then right here you have another what would be considered red, but it's more of a wine red. So you don't have a holiday red in 2016. Um, going to 2015, you have a pretty, probably pretty close um, shade right there. It is a darker red, so it's um, it's not going to be identical. This is not a, um, you know, like one of those, what do they call them, blue-based Christmas reds. A true red is not in either one of these. However, 2015 does have a very close similarity, even though this one's going to be a little bit darker. So, just know that. The next one, or last one, that we have going on in the um, 2017 set is called Courant Mood, and this is going to be the eggplant shade. So here is what this one looks like right here. It's more of the purpley eggplant uh, color right there. And so this is the one of the set that's going to give you more the vampy type look. 
So let's just go ahead and compare um, to last year and the year before. Now, 2016, no, sorry, 2015 did not have any types of eggplant purpley shades. The darkest one was that wine color right there. So 2015 did not have any type of eggplant purples. However, 2016 had a purple shade. This is, I wouldn't consider this to be true eggplant. Honestly, I would consider this to be more of a purple. And so it does have some similarity from, you know, within that color family to last year's. And again, let me pull it back out so that you can kind of see um, what it looks like in the tube. And again, it is not, what this one reminds me of is, um, what's it called by Bite Beauty? It's one of the um, crayons. I think it's called Aubergine. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, I'm going to include like a little note right here. If you don't see a note, it's because I wasn't wrong. I think it's called Aubergine. This is very, very similar, at least in the tube to that shade. So this is more of a purple, this is more of an eggplant. So you do have that difference as well. So for me, to be honest, it wasn't worth keeping because out of the five shades, one I already own from 2015 in the shade Infamous, it's a dupe. So that takes me down to four. And it's like, okay, do I wanna pay $45 for four mini size and the packaging, um, especially when, um, truly as far as unique shades I'm really only getting about two um, because that um, hot cocoa type shade was new um, as far as not being a similarity from the last couple of years and then also that uh, Christmas red that one was also was, was it the Christmas red that yeah so the Christmas red also probably enough of a similarity and I guess I could throw in the eggplant shade as so basically Three out of the five um, for me were different, I guess, enough in order to, you know, for to have a... So I guess three out of the five for me were different enough from the last couple of years. But again, do I want to pay $45 for three shades and the little packaging? Really, I don't because I keep accumulating these things and I am not putting them to use as much as I would like. So I love the Mark lip creme formula and I absolutely encourage you to pick this up if you have not tried it or if you've only tried one or two if you don't have last year's or the years before the year before this is an ideal set and I do think it's a great value it's definitely a wonderful deal the packaging is so so cute um, the eyeshadow palette has like a zebra print so they definitely went with the animal print theme this year um, but yeah definitely a good good set if you're new to the to the product or to the um, to the lipstick even to the brand so again that's $45 for those of y'all who are interested I hope you have found this um, useful helpful I'm sorry I did not give you swatches of this year's again I just want to be able to do the right thing and give it back new so that they can resell it um, and it doesn't go to waste so uh, if you found this useful or helpful which again I hope you did um, please give this a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind I hope you'll consider subscribing if you're new to my channel um, I'd love to have you as part of this YouTube family before I let you go I need to give you the verse of the day and today's comes from Psalm 37, verses 23 and 24, and it says, If the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I hope this has been encouraging for you. Again, I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you're having a wonderful day or a wonderful week. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care.